The flu outbreak nationwide appears to be leveling off. The Centers for Disease Control now says the influenza is widespread in 47 states, down from 48 last week. Rhode Island health officials say so far nearly 500 people have been hospitalized in the state. Residents are doing a good job at taking precautions against the flu. New at 10, Eyewitness News reporter Mara Kennedy has more on who is affected. Public health officials strongly urge pregnant women, elderly people, and kids to get the flu shot, but they aren't the only ones at risk. Hi, Mrs. Hi, it's a special delivery. Hi. Heather Lingerfield will tell you it's from her guardian angel, and it might be the very thing that keeps her safe from the flu. I can't get out. It's hard to get out, and by them bringing me all that stuff, it's going to help me. The company Visiting Angels delivers Fight the Flu kits to local elderly folks in need. We're going out into the community and uh, to senior centers and places that we can help other families learn how to build these baskets for their loved ones. But the elderly aren't the only ones at risk. Health officials say young adults more than any other group this year are getting the flu. And now with students returning to school, they're even more at danger. Brown University health officials say there have been at least four confirmed cases of the flu on campus. As long as there's a demand, the university will continue supplying free shots. We gave uh, about 3,000 flu vaccines, and since the students have ba been back this week, we've probably given an additional three to 400. You still have time to get the flu shot. For information on upcoming flu clinics, head to our website, WPRI.com. Reporting in the newsroom, Mara Kennedy, Eyewitness News.